So we are in Westlands right now trying out Beaster Box. Once again, another new spot. So time to call your friends, come here, have a Kenyan beer and some delicious food. What's your personal favorite? My personal favorite for the status? Yeah. Mm. I'm not a vegetarian, but I like the falafels most. <laughs> okay. Ah. Okay, yes. so let's do one falafel and one cheese popper. Okay. Does that make sense? Is that a good uh, option? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> So here at Bistro Box is one of the only places that I've ever seen the 254 Brewing Co, which is like uh, basically a Kenyan microbrewery um, here in Nairobi. And tonight I'm trying to Muratatu, which apparently is similar to Tusker. Not similar to Tusker, but very good. That's really nice. Oh my god, it's 10.4% for a beer. So as usual, we asked our waiter what are the best options. Oh, we got yes. the best seller and his personal favorite, which are cheese and jalapeno poppers. And I'm thinking like North American style ones. They're like half the size. Massive. <laughs> These are huge. And then we also have falafel bites as well, which I'm curious because falafel to me, I'm not gonna lie, goes one way or the other. Yeah. So let's see how they are. They also brought us some very nice homemade pita bread. I'm not sure what's for, but oh, I said the it. salad is very good too. Mm. Okay, so the falafel, I cut it in half just because this is an aioli that has like ginger in it and stuff. Wow. Okay. One of the main reasons that I don't normally like falafel is I find it super, super dry. I don't know if you can see inside of this, but like, it is not dry at all, and that is amazing. You need to try it out. Would you say it's moist? It is moist, in a good way. <laughs> Tracy was wrong, it's not really good. It's delicious. Wow. I actually saw them make the falafel from scratch, like, everything is all made. Next up, jalapeno popper. Your popper's leaking. <laughs> I just to say that. Oh no, it's leaking the other way. Oh no. Normally in Canada, like you go to bars and you get like these like jalapeno like cheese poppers and like it's kind of frozen. Here like they're fresh. You can tell like the, the jalapeno like is really like from the tree a couple days ago. Those falafels like, are super amazing. good. That was his personal recommendation. Yeah. yeah. Very good. <laughs> Would recommend as well. Poppers were very good too. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> falafel highlight. So, so yeah. good. Okay, the last thing I thought I was gonna eat tonight is seafood or prawns, uh, but our waiter is saying that they are fantastic, and even though Nairobi is pretty far from the coast, I believe him. He looks like a nice guy, so we ordered the prawns. Let's see if these prawns are as good as he said. I'm not using the sauce first, I'll just taste how they are. Mmm. Those are really good. The breading that they have on things, so far, like it seems like it's the same, and it's so good. Very good. Good friends in Nairobi. It's really the bread in them. Mm. As you can see, we like them. Crunchy enough, spicy enough, and good quality shrimp. It's a pass. Very You're right. Good. Really nice. It's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> so we would like <clears throat> the dragon one because it's your favorite, and I like okay. spicy burgers, so okay. that's probably good. Okay. Next, what we want? And I'll try the Korean chicken. Korean chicken. Perfect choice. <laughs> Perfect choice? Yeah. <laughs> now let's go see what's going on in the kitchen. They got me a, a special excess. Do you like this? It's pretty nice. The burger I order is called the Dragon Burger. And apparently it's really spicy. And I, I was pretty confident about it. But this guy was like, are you sure you can handle spice? No, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> we'll see. So I'm not gonna lie, we can already feel the spice and even everyone around is starting to cough. So uh, let's see. 
as a side we're getting some nicely breaded onion rings and they're making them like one by one so I'm pretty excited about those. The staff are all in the kitchen waiting for me to take a bite of that burger. <laughs> I think it's much more spicy than what I expect. So intriguing. This is it, guys. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> They're all smiling. It's coming. It's really good. The meat is just juicy, perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned. This is a good burger. Okay, I got the Korean burger, which is a chicken burger, and it's like barbecue on the sweet side. Let's try this out. It's huge. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> how do I do this? <laughs> when they were putting on the sauce, I was a little worried it'd be too much. I was just dripping everywhere on my hand right now. But it's not, and it is so good. Wow. In my corner, I'm still alive. It is a little bit spicy. Like I saw them put quite a bit of like chili oil, and there's actually like jalapenos and chilies in there as well. But to be honest, like I really enjoy it, and I'm, my mouth is not too too on fire. The sauce in it, to be honest, if you ever had like a Big Mac at McDonald's, that's kind of the sauce that it tastes like, which is really good. I may have given up in the sense of big mistake. Didn't put my hair up when I first started. Secondly, we're switching to a fork and knife because it just went everywhere. There's so much chicken inside, like you can't help it, but like it goes everywhere. These are definitely the kind of burger that once you pick it up, you cannot drop <laughs> it until you're done. <laughs> okay, so we were encouraged to try one of their milkshakes and the consistency looks really good. This is a Bailey shake, so let's see. Oh wow. I would have to say for me that is the perfect consistency for a milkshake. You gotta try this thing. That's pretty nice. Especially if you like Baileys. It's just very cold Baileys with like a nice cream kind of flavor. Let me think. We have, he said this is a mini. It doesn't look mini to me. A chocolate lava cake. So really just wanted to share. They very insisted on two. And this is a Mexican deep fried ice cream. Ooh, which actually looks really good. It's a lot. I've never had one before, eh? I don't know what to choose first. Oh, it's surprisingly light. Light, that's what I like to hear because I'm really full right now. Cold and crunchy. That's really nice. I mean, can you really go wrong with a lava cake? You can't. I can't eat for a really long time now. Great food for sure. So I want to preface this beforehand is there's a lot of vegetarian options as well. Mm -hmm. The falafel, I think was my favorite because it was the most surprising. Yeah. If like you're a I vegetarian, just go for that. Even if you're yeah. not a vegetarian like us, still go for that. Burger is fantastic. Milkshake has one of the best consistencies that we've ever mm. had here in Kenya. Yeah. Um, dessert, fantastic. We ate way too much food. Yeah, super friendly service. The guys in the kitchen, the waiter, yeah. like very nice people. It's a cute place as well with a few yeah. tables in the back. I mean, in the it's middle of really Westland. Good. Come here for lunch, come here for dinner with a couple of friends. Have a Kenyan beer yeah. as well. I have to say, just one of the main points when we evaluate places, consistency across all dishes, yeah. which is Everything a fantastic was very nice. thing. Yeah. So yeah, would recommend. Yeah. We'll put their information in the description. And Check until next time, see you guys. In the next one.